So this episode of From the Road is slightly different than other episodes. For one, I'm driving. For two, we're in New Brunswick. So what exactly are we doing in New Brunswick? Well, we flew into Moncton yesterday, and now we're on our way driving to Charlottetown, PI for the East Coast Music Awards. We're going to be sitting down with a couple bands. We're going to be eating seafood. We're going to have hopefully some lobster, some beers. This is our time at the East Coast Music Awards. Traveling the road, last known is where I want to be. My compass directing, electing an open road with golden trees. But there's an old man in need on the ground. I try not to make a sound. He holds out his hand as I walk away. I hear him say, please don't be a stranger in my place. Please don't be a stranger in my place, yeah. I'm traveling, I come to a tavern for a moment. We're hanging out with Paper Lions here at the ECMAs. How are you guys doing? Splendid. Fantastic. Yes, yes. Uh, corpulent. Corpulent, uh, yes. Marvelous. Like yeah. Marvelous. So this year, the ECMAs are back in Prince Edward Island. How does that feel having it back in, you know, maybe not your hometown, but your home province? Uh, it feels great. It's uh, the home court advantage that we need. Our uh, friends and family are rallying behind us, and uh, we're going to bring home lots of hardware. Cool. <laughs> now, you talked about friends and family being here. I happen to notice at the concert last night, there happened to be a couple older people. Were any uh, mothers or fathers in the crowd? Not our mothers or fathers. I'm sure they were somebody's mothers and fathers, but uh, ours conspicuously not in attendance. I, uh, my mother's volunteering at the ECMAs, so she was busy with that. Otherwise, she would be up there breaking it down with the rest of those. Incredibly close to recording, but uh, we found that we enjoy testing out, sort of road testing new songs before we get in the studio. So we plan on getting the, in the studio before the end of 2011, but right now we're just uh, enjoying the sort of refreshing feeling of, of uh, playing these new songs. lining things up for the fall for a Cross Canada tour. The summer is sort of booked up with some festivals, which is always fun for us, and just more writing. You know, having fun on the island is really beautiful in the summertime and inspiring for us, so probably hit some beaches, write some songs, and plan for the fall. Where can we find you online? Paperlines.com Paperlines. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. with in-flight safety at the ECMAs. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Very well. Thank you. So tell me about uh, the ECMAs and what it means to you personally and uh, as a band. Yeah, uh, the ECMAs are just like an amazing uh, way for a band from the East Coast to meet like really great quality like delegates who have helped us to date anyway, get us across uh, overseas. And just you just make so many great musicians and, and it's just an amazing party that turns into this thing where you actually get business out of it and, and, and see your band do more, more stuff than you're already doing. You mentioned about uh, a European tour. Tell me how that went and, uh, you know, anything crazy happened while you're over there? Or... The tour crazy question is yes. like... 
give us that crazy... Uh, it's Europe, something yeah. crazy well, must happen. I felt like we could have filmed maybe The Hangover 3 in, in our day off in Amsterdam. Yeah. Like, what happened that night was like, I don't even know, everyone was just like, that was crazy. This is Amsterdam. Yeah. And it's just an amazing city, really, really fun. And just, you know, local friends are bringing us different places, and next thing you know, you're walking down the red light district, and there's like people banging on the windows, like naked girls going, you need to come in here, guys. Like, Holy shit, it was just like insane. Mistakes swept under band apartments in Germany, you're given an apartment to stay in after every show. It's like, here's a key and go here and sleep. And you're like, okay. And it's like seven bunk beds or something. But in the, every apartment, there's like band posters from everyone who stayed there. And you wouldn't believe some of the bands that are like playing in these, these venues, like in all really upper echelon Canadian bands and international acts who aren't huge in Germany. So it's, it's a really, uh, I think it made the band feel really confident. about uh, the record label, This Is Night Danger. You started this uh, and then put your band under this, this record label as well. But you have some other projects on the label. Yep. Do you find that you're a bit of a mentor to these other bands because you've been around longer? Yeah. Or do you just kind of sit back and somebody else manages uh, the bands? Well, I mean, we're really, we're really a shitty record label when it comes to we, we could work a lot harder for our bands, but it's just a bunch of friends, like Milks and Rectangles are a young band who are, who are incredible, and uh, I think they would go great on your channel. Um, FYI, nice yeah, plug. Little plug. I guess so there's the stuff that's going on in Europe. Um, I assume we'll, we'll hopefully go back to uh, Germany because it's uh, been really good for us. Um, and uh, we'll be putting out another single in, uh, in the UK. And so touring there. And all the while, we're home, hopefully chipping away at the record. So there's really not much more. That's a pretty much all our time. Facebook slash in flight safety and Twitter in flight safety is uh, it's in flight underscore safety on Twitter. Thank you very much.